This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at how to create clip speed changes in Premiere Pro CC and Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create a variable speed clip inside Premiere Pro. But there's still one more thing that we have to think about, and that is variable speed clips. And let's just take a look at that. This is the Yakolov's uh, acrobatic, aerial acrobatic team, a bunch of prop airplanes that do formation flying and impress people at air shows. Wouldn't it be cool? Here's all five of them doing a giant loop up into the sky, flipping over on their back, and then coming back down, forming a perfect letter O in midair. Wouldn't it be cool if at this point I could slow it down so people could really get a sense of what it was like to be upside down and then rushing toward the ground? And the answer is we can. Select the clip, go up to the effect controls, and under the section called time remapping, there's this called speed. This allows us to create a constant speed change. I would never use this for a constant speed change. Command R is much easier, but I always use this for variable speed change. Because something has to change during playback, we have to use keyframes. So I'm going to create a keyframe by setting it here. There's our keyframe. This says that right now I'm going at 100%. I'm going to grab the line to the right and drag down and drag it to be about, oh, 20%. The same rule applies, and that is to say whatever percentage you're dragging it to, have it divide evenly into 200. Now when I play this back, we're at normal speed. And watch the marker. It's there just as an indicator. It's not required in any way. And now, boom, we're now going at 20% speed to really be able to, whoa, they are upside down. They really are flipping over. And look at how these planes are keeping perfect alignment with each other. That is so cool in a way that we would never be able to see by just having it play in real time. In fact, wouldn't it be neat if I could take this clip where they're doing sort of a big curve to the right and slow it down so I can study the curve as they're flying in formation and then pick up the speed so it goes normal speed and then slow and then fast again? And the answer is, of course, otherwise <laughs> I wouldn't have mentioned it. Select the clip and go to speed and let's create a keyframe. And we're going to slow this down to 20% for drama. And then we're going to move to the second marker, which is here, and add another keyframe. And I'm going to grab the line and drag up and go to 200%. So those planes are really going to fly. This is great scripting. I spent a lot of time working on this script. This is good stuff. Okay, watch it. Now we're at 100%. And then... Boom, we're going slow. And then, boom, we're going fast again at double speed. Except it would be really nice if this second transition at that marker, if that transition could be gentler, and it can. See this marker up here? If I grab the right-hand side, I can drag out what's called a handle. And now I have a speed ramp. It's going to be at 20%, and it's going to gradually pick up speed as it goes up that ramp until faster and faster and faster. And now we're going at 200%, and you didn't get hit up the side of the head with it. It just happened so gently that you didn't realize that you were going slow, and now you're going faster again, really faster. Flying, in other words. You could click in between, and there's a Bezier control handle that allows you to theoretically make changes. I've always seen this to be not particularly useful, so I'm glad it's there, and its mother likes it, but I never worry about it. You can change the speed of the ramp by grabbing this and dragging it, which changes the amount of time it takes to transition from one speed to another. This is the sort of thing that, that you can spend hours just giggling over. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at how to create speed changes inside Adobe Premiere Pro and Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 243. By the way,
When you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.